volume might be what gets it done here tonight. Everything at the Ottawa goal. Senators dead last in the NHL with an 88.4 team save percentage. Well, he also hit the pole, so it would have been the biggest goal of the season. It would have been the first against Vegas there. The Chuck with a shot right on. Middleton for Faber. He relays it ahead to Zuccarello. He couldn't get it out of the zone, and a tip shot out front by Joseph is held by Fleury. Yeah, they get a lot of power play opportunities, too. Third most power play opportunities for Ottawa. They, they draw a lot. Here comes Goudreau shorthanded. Goudreau from a sharp angle and a save by Corpusalo. Brandstrom sends it back up to the line. Giroux into the middle. Pinto a shot and a save by Fleury. Yeah, been a really good kill. Good draw with the good stick there to break that one up. The shorthanded chance earlier, and I really like what Huznadinov did on that last rush. And now we're going to get a holding call. Brodine back defensively for Minnesota, able to knock it away from Bernard Docker. And Shaw carries to center. Bogosian, center, Shaw scores! Depth scoring, they get a goal from the fourth line here to put him in front. Yeah, how about this feed from Bogosian? He just feathers this one across the zone over three sticks, lands it flat on Shaw's tape, and he just has to redirect this one in. Corpusalo following the pace of this puck, doesn't get over fast enough, and there's a little daylight five hole that Shaw finds. And Flurry gives it to Chisholm. Boy, well, he puts Shaw in a tough spot, it leads to a turnover. Flurry has to make a save. Merrill on it there for Minnesota. Reverses it back to Letary. Lucini picked up the second assist on the Minnesota goal. And the Wild in front 1-0. Wild have been good when they score first in games this year. 26-8-4. Johansson circles out from behind the net. Into the high slot. Rossi a shot save. Corpusalo. Emotions boiled over. It was a, a poor choice. He absolutely owned it. He said he'll take the suspension and hope that his club can get three wins and let him get back in there and continue playing. And it deflects all the way back off the center ice. Bernard Docker carries in. Kachuk in the high slot. A blocker saved by Flurry. Goudreau at center ice. Beckman with a shot. It seemed to fool Corpusalo. Um, Coach Pat Dwyer says he grew up there. This wasn't born there, but he counts it. Merrill with a shot, and it's held by Corpusalo. Drew wins it cleanly. Stutzla fires, and a save by Flurry. Good spot, but a great illustration of why that rule was put into place. Another shot off of the next draw, then Kachuk had a whack at the rebound. And the Senators... Show you just how much can happen in 10 seconds. I think that they can throw a few more off the pads and generate some chaos around Ottawa's net. Flurry has to make a shoulder save on the first attempt of the second period. Averaged about two-thirds of a shot on goal per game. This year up over two shots per night. And then probably the location of them is what stands out most to me. He, he seems to be right around the paint as for generating his offense. And they score! A line that had come close so many times in the first period. Matt Boley beats Corpusalo, and Minnesota has a two-goal lead. Don't do it against this Ottawa club. Four check, and Kaprizov collects his puck. Backhand pass right to the slot on the tape of Matt Boldy. And I don't even think he takes a look up. He just fires this thing towards Corpus Allo. More goals per 60 minutes than any trio in the league, and that includes McKinnon's line in Colorado, McDavid's line in Edmonton. Here's Beckman on the backhand, saved by Corpus Allo. Some good back pressure creates a loose puck. Rossi, Johansson, Zuccarello a shot. Sliding save, Corpus Allo. Matt Boldy. With a goal for Minnesota, Matt Zuccarello nearly added here. Houston now collides with Chisholm. That creates a loose puck that's scooped up by the Senators. Giroux plays it ahead for Joseph. Back to Giroux. He fires right on. To the side of the net, Batherson. Stutzla. Off the post. Rebound scooped up by Sanderson. 
He reverses to Chikrin. Couple of offensive minded defensemen here for Ottawa. Kachuk across. Batterson scores. They got the seam pass they were looking for earlier in the sequence, and this time Sanderson, or rather Batherson, beats Flurry, and it's 2 1. When Kachuk collects this one, it's no look through to the back side. And Batherson, goal scorer, he puts that one upstairs. But it's favor. Maybe caught kind of in no man's land right in front of the net, not laying down, just trying to block that pass. And Kachuk surprised him a little bit with a no looker. Got a stick on another clearing attempt, but it's scooped up and carried to center by Kastelik. Flurry knocks this one to the boards. Greg carries in for Ottawa. Back to Kachuk. His shot right on is held by Flurry. For anything in the standings, and you're right, head coach Dean Evison coached just one more game once the team came back. A loss in Detroit. Clevin moves into the Minnesota zone. Back to Kubalik, and a long shot is gloved by Flurry. Sanderson to Kachuk in the corner. A centering pass, a backhander off the stick of Castellet flutters into the mitt of Flurry. Greg carries in for Ottawa. Has Kachuk with him a shot, saved by Flurry. Rebound scooped up by Erickson at. Atherson, the power play goal earlier in the game, gives it to Stutzla. Stutzla centers. Chikrin scores. And another power play goal for the Senators. Another on which Flurry has no chance. And Ottawa ties it 2 2. Then it just bounces over a stick as Middleton tried to clear it. Ottawa goes to change sides. They get their set up and they've attacked from low. And it's Brady Kachuk, who rightfully so, he leads this club in power play goals. He slides up to the slot. Giroux pressuring, and his pass is tipped away. Here comes Ridley Gregg shorthanded. Gregg beats Kaprizov in, and a pass saved by Flurry. But this is still a 2 2 game because of the save from Marc Andre Flurry. Ridley Gregg goes to the backhand and around for Kaprizov. Off the boards and out to Chisholm. Pusnadinov. Waiting, looking, centers, Erickson not going to save by Corpusolo. Looking for the puck. That's the first chance. Back with the second opportunity, and Corpusolo is down. Referee doesn't see it there, but it's through him on the weak side. Matherson trying to drop it back to Pinto. Poke checked away by Letary. Goes to Tangle at center. Shaw on the loose puck. Trying to chip it by Branstrom. Branstrom goes to the ice. Letary scores! for the fourth line for Minnesota, and they lead it 3-2. It's Batherson, and then he didn't come back hard enough. Miscommunication on who was going to retrieve that puck. That allowed Shaw to get on their forecheck, turn it over. And Branson's like, ah, I don't want to get this. I'm in a bad spot now. Shaw wins that battle. They get a fortuitous bounce to the slot. It ends up on the Terry stick. And this will bring us to the close. The Wild respond to a couple of power play goals by Ottawa that tied the game and win it on a goal by Vinny Letary.